Hi everyone and welcome to the DEX Imaging Help Desk YouTube channel. This video will walk you through installing and configuring the Sharp print driver on your Mac. Let's get started. Go ahead and open an internet browser of your choice. I'm going to be working today with uh, Firefox. We're going to go ahead and type in on the URL box www.deximaging dot com forward slash service. Now we're going to click on resources here on the right. Scroll down to sharp downloads. We're under the product downloads page. Now please keep in mind your model is going to be different or might be the same as the one that I am using to install today. The model that I'm using is going to be the MX3570N. If you don't know what your model number is, I'm going to put a picture on the right hand side of your video, which shows you where the model number goes. We're going to go over to the product category and select MFPs. Then click on product and scroll down to the model that you have. My model, like I said, is going to be the 3570. There we go. The file type is going to be drivers and utilities. Click search. We're going to scroll down and we're going to use the Mac OS driver package. Okay, this contains versions 10 through 12, uh, 10 through 10 through 10 to, through 12. We're going to click on download. We're going to click on save. We're going to make sure the radio button is on the save and then click OK. As you can see, our downloads went right here on the top where the arrow is. We're then going to click on the spotlight and that's going to pull up our finder. We're just going to double click on the zip file. It's going to extract it for us. And there it is. We're going to double click on the folder. Then we're going to click on the DMG file. And it looks like we we're gonna go into the Mac OS 10, and then we're gonna select our version. Now, if you don't know what version you're running on your Mac, all you need to do is click up here on the Apple sign, and then click on About This Mac, and you'll see right here we're using Mac OS Sierra version 10.12.4. That is the latest version of Mac OS 10. So we're gonna click there, double click on 1012 and then double click on that. Click continue, click continue again, agree to the license agreement and then click on install. Now it's going to ask us for our Mac password. We're going to go ahead and type that in and click on install software. Looks like it's done. Click close. We're going to move that to the trash. I'm going to close that, close that, close that as well, and close this. Now we're going to minimize our Firefox web browser for now because we're going to have to go back in there and default everything later. But at this time, we're going to go into system preferences. Now there are two ways to find it. You can either click here on the dock. If you don't have it down here, you can actually go back up to the Apple sign here and click on system preferences there. Now we're going to click on printers and scanners. We're going to click on the plus sign. And now this is going to search, uh, the Mac always does this, it lets all the uh, printers via bonjour on your network, but we're not going to set it up that way. We're going to go ahead and set it up via the, I via the IP because that way we know where to, your Mac is going to communicate with the copier. We're going to make sure the protocol is set to HP Jet Direct Socket. And in case you don't know how to find the IP address of your Sharp, it is very easy to do so. You're going to have to walk up to the panel to do this. I'm going to put up some instructions here on the, on the top left on how to do that. Take a look at them now. Okay. Once that page has printed, it'll give you two pages. 
and I'm gonna give you a little snapshot of, of one of them that includes the IP address here in the top right hand corner and I'll show you where the IP address is located good okay now that we have the IP we're just gonna type it in here so it'll be this in my case okay and under location we're gonna type that in again and as you can see since we have we gave it the IP it automatically found our PPD driver for it so we're just gonna go ahead and rename the printer to sharp MX-3570 N click on add it's gonna set it up for us it looks like it's now done we can see our printer over here on the left sharp MX 3570 and we see the information here on the right now we need to go into the cup section and default all our all our defaults when printing so we're gonna open up Safari. I mean uh, sorry Firefox again so we're gonna go ahead and open up Firefox and we're gonna type in this address in there once you have that address typed up you're gonna hit return you'll see cups 2.2.0 and then you're gonna click on printers if you click on printers you're gonna see this and the web interface is currently disabled and it's gonna ask you to run this command under the quotations to enable it so we're gonna grab that whole command there and make sure you do not get the quotations you're gonna copy that you're gonna right click and copy that and now we can go over to the spotlight search and search for the terminal so make sure you type in terminal and you'll see it it looks like this and we're gonna the top hit we're just gonna click on that to open double click on it and now we see our terminal so we're gonna actually all we're gonna do is we're just going to right click on the command prompt window and we're gonna paste that text that you see up here we'll test uh, paste it down here and we're gonna hit enter and now it's ready to run so we all we need to do is just hit exit type in exit and then hit enter and I was gonna log you out and it's completed so now we can just close it from the red icon up here and we can just refresh this window we don't perfect now that we have finished all of the terminal stuff we will see our printer there we're gonna actually click on the sharp I'm gonna click on administration and go to the drop down here to default options and then we're gonna see a lot of a lot of stuff here but we're gonna focus on where color is uh, where the color section is. We're going to click on that. Under color mode, we're going to set that to black and white. That way it defaults that to black and white. And then we're going to click on set default options. And if you don't, uh, like you see, I, I didn't get a prompt here for a password. But if on your, on your Firefox window in your Safari, browser if you get a prompt asking for a username and password that's gonna be the username and password for the Mac looks like we are done so we're gonna go ahead and just uh, print this page and you're gonna go ahead and just make sure that yep color is set to black and white perfect so we're just gonna click on print you'll see the printer show up here in the bottom go away that means the job has printed successfully and now we're just gonna set our preset to color in case you have a color printer so we're gonna go back into the Firefox toggle go back into the color mode and we're gonna set it to color I'm gonna click on presets I'm gonna save that current setting and I'm just gonna call it color and click OK now that we have a color preset we're just gonna click on print you'll see there it showed up and went away and now that print job came in as color 
And this concludes just the standard installation of a Sharp driver on your Mac. Okay, so if you have user control set up on your Sharp, there's really only one way to get it to print with the code on the driver. There is no way for it to pop up for you. So what we want to do is we want to go to File and Print. And then we want to go ahead and click on the Firefox drop down and you want to go to job handling. Under job handling there's two options here retention and authentication. We need to go under authentication. Now again you have two other options here. If you configure your sharp to use user authentication and not user number then leave it there and put in your login name and your password. If you configure using user number the way that I have then you just put in your code here. Now remember our default settings have black and white as the as the quality. So we're going to go ahead and just save the current preset. And we're going to call it black and white with code. And click okay. We're going to click on print. And as you can see it came through and it went away on our dock, which means that job was printed on our sharp. If you guys are enjoying these videos, come and check us out at our YouTube channel, Dex Imaging Help Desk. We'll be adding more tutorials just like this one. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.